let's just get out of here. We've got the key, let's use it. That cool with you? Yeah. Hmm. Then it's time to go. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Just forget everything I told you, okay? Don't worry about it. Really. I mean it. What are you talking about? Alright. Thank you. Damn, what the hell took you guys so long? You playing doctor in there or something? <laughs> oh, you wish. Maybe. Jealous? <laughs> okay, I like Jupe. He's a, he's a, he's a sassy man. I like it. All right. I'm going to open it now. Is that cool? You don't need to keep asking. Just do it, all right? <sighs> Fine then. Yeah, right, well, we're out. We're free. <sighs> all right. Let's get going. Hey, man, what's up with you? You're so serious, you know? Can't you sound more happy, you know, get a little excited? <sighs> Not really. Yeah, nothing about our situation's nice. My brother might be dead. I'm going to be next. Like hell I can. Not after hearing something like that. Yeah, how could we just how could we just forget that? Well, you found it! Thanks, game. Thanks for the, thanks for the vote of confidence. You too, huh? Uh, the one annoying thing about Zero Escape games, the protagonist always asks if you want to open the door. <laughs> Every door in this place yeah. is locked up tight. How about that one? May as well give it a try. Jumpy! Huh? Uh, oh, what? June? Hi! Hey, June! And Santa! And Lotus, too! Whoa! What the hell is this? Looks like we found each other. What are you doing here? What? But we didn't... Hey, guys! Could you come take a look at this? Ah, uh, the door opening always creeps me out. Makes me think something's gonna jump out. Uh-huh. Look on the wall here. A map of the ship's interior? Oh, would you look at this? It says sea deck. So it's the map for this floor, then? Door seven. And... Door eight. Yep. They both eventually end up at this hallway. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Isn't that what I said? We aren't going <laughs> to be split up permanently till we find door nine. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door nine. That's how the nonary game works. I see. Wait a sec. Hey, could this lead to... Oh. You've got to be kidding me. We may as well go. Yeah. Oh, uh, almost lovely. Forgot. We should keep this. We th this this is the blank door. This is the blank door back to the infirmary. Ready? I'm going to open it. For fuck's sake. God damn it, Ace, and you had to freaking anesthetic yourself. Please tell me that wore off. I knew it. We're back. Please tell me that wore off. In the hospital room. I see. Oh! I believe I understand what you're saying. He's up. The six of you split into two teams and went through doors seven and eight. Luckily, Ace is going to be just a-okay. You solved the puzzles in the operating room and the laboratory, and then met one another in the hallway after opening your respective locked doors. At any rate, I feel a bit silly for my little show of altruism. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I know I said I was sure you'd come back for me. But you didn't think so soon. I didn't think it would happen so soon, though. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Oh, Ace, we couldn't leave you behind. Well, we saw each other again, and we ain't dead. So I say that's good enough. Anyway, I say we get out of this creepy old place. We found the key we need. Uh, the key? Ain't that what I just said? I'm talking about the Jupiter key. We found it in the operating room. That's true, we did. Right, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, the solar system keys. We found a couple more in the laboratory in the kitchen. Oh, did you? Here, the Earth key and the Saturn key card. Uh huh. Hello. It's probably better if you. Hold I might lose it. That way, it won't be my fault if it gets lost. Can we go through door three though? Yeah, on it. None of us went through door yeah, three. Three keys that we haven't used yet. Yeah. The Jupiter key that we found in the operating room. The Earth key that Lotus just gave me. And the Saturn key card that Lotus said was in the kitchen. 
The Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long straight hallway, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. If the map's right, then it connects to the central staircase. Then next to the stairs. Wait. Was the earth door, door, wasn't three? it? Yes, that's what I was just thinking. What about door three? If we're all back here together. Look, you saw the map, right? Yes, three, seven, or door three, seven plus four plus one. I wouldn't be able to go through it, though. It would have to be seven, clover, and ace. It's the same as seven and eight. Just lead us back to the big hospital room. There's no point to seeing what's on the other side of that door. I don't know about that seven. There is a point. Holy well, snake, yeah. At least there is for me. Yeah, what about snake? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Snake might be on the other side of door three. Very well. I'll be coming with you then. Yes, yeah, I there you nice go. Nice long rest. I think it's time I was up and about again. So seven, you'll help me, won't you? Huh? Me? Yeah, it's gonna have to be you three. Damn. Well, I guess that's how it's got to be. So I'm going with you, huh? Yes, you are. All right, let's get moving. Okay, we're heading out. Be careful. Whoa. Didn't think I'd be hearing that from you, Lotus. You yeah, seriously, you frigid bitch. Don't let it go to your head. I'd be in trouble if the three of you bought it. Uh, six plus five plus one works too. But I'm making the assumption that Clover wants in since she seems pretty adamant. Yeah, she definitely seems adamant. The rest of us can't open the nine door. Ah, the truth comes out. <laughs> the truth comes out. You no, know, she's very calculative. I'll give her that. I okay, what's we're off. What's beyond that door, I wonder? Alright, we should get moving too. Huh? Get moving? Where are we going? Well, it would be a waste of time to just sit around, wouldn't it? Let me explain. Oh, I get it. We're going to see if we can get anywhere interesting with the Jupiter key. We might as well. Yes. If we're lucky, we might find Snake. And here's the Jupiter symbol on the keyhole. All right, Junpei. Open it, if you please. Yeah, on it. Great, back to the beginning. You sure this is a good idea? Well, we have stuff now. What do you mean? Well, we already searched every inch of this room, didn't we? But we have the earth door, don't we? I'm asking you if there's any reason we came back here. Of course there's a reason. Of course there's a reason. Man, sometimes I can't tell if you're smart or just lucky. Huh? This. The or the, the Saturn key card. card. And the earth key. And the earth key? I'm lost. Don't you remember, Santa? On Sea Deck, where we are now, there was a big elevator behind the stairs, remember? Yes, there was. And next to the elevator, there was a card reader with the Saturn symbol on it. And on A Deck, on the door to the left, there was a keyhole with the Earth symbol on it. So the two keys that Jumpy has should let us use the elevator and the door on A Deck. Huh. Yes, that's right. All right, I got it. Let's get started then. What do we go through first, what do I wonder? Say we split into two teams. Yeah, of course. Lotus and I will search the Earth one, so you two can search Saturn, all right? What if we want to search Earth? Sounds good. Then you guys should take this key. Fine. We have no idea what's on the other side of these. So don't go too far. Just search for ten minutes and come back. There's a card reader next to the left elevator. Then let's try out the Saturn key card. All right, let's do it. Great. It looks like it's working now. All right. Now, how do I call the elevator? Hit oh, the button? It only has the upside down triangle on it. <sighs> I guess there's no up button. Well, we may as well try pushing this one. So this thing can only go down. All right. June, it's you and me, baby. It opened. Look, Jumpy. Sweet, it opened. Let's get going. W w wait. What? Uh, I'm not really. Uh, I just. Uh, oh gosh. You don't. You're claustrophobic, aren't you? You're probably afraid of. They could only go down. Being locked up alone with a boy. Prepare yourself, gamer. What? Why? Uh. I'm gonna make fun of her. 
still be all alone in here. <laughs> Jumpy? Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. It's not important. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Uh, go for the innocent response of this one? What? Why? I said, wait a minute. Why? Wait, why? Are what? What? You afraid, Jumpy? Afraid of what? Well, I've never, you know. It's your first time. What the fuck? I might get wet. What? Are we talking about two different things here? Uh, oh, what? Down there. I get soaking wet. Well, I, I mean, of course you would. That's the way it works. <laughs> I mean, I've never heard of anyone getting soaking wet uh, somewhere else. That's... That's true. What What am I reading? What am I listening to? What is, what is going on? I came in at this part. <laughs> bow chicka bow wow. Excuse me? <laughs> you don't mind? Mind what? Getting wet. Well, uh, I don't know. I think I'd probably, um, you know, like it. Gosh, Jumpy. You're so brave. Really? Uh, I mean, I kind of think any guy would do the same thing, you know? What happens, happens, right? I mean, if you get the chance, you've just got to go for it. I, that's what a man is supposed to do. I guess. <laughs> You're so cool, Jumpy. I really admire you. What the hell is this? Uh, that doesn't really seem like the sort of thing you ought to admire someone for. They just keep going! I... I'm really scared. Yeah, I mean, like you said, you've never done it before. I, you, or, you know what? I've already figured out she's talking about the water in the lower, the lower floors. She's talking about the fact that we're probably going through all that water. I don't care about that right now. Yes, so I don't think I'll be able to last very long. And then it'll be over. Uh, <laughs> uh, over? Yes. We'll go to heaven. What? Heaven? It feels kind of like you're floating in space and your mind gets all fuzzy like when you pass out. At least that's what I've heard from people who have experienced it. Why do they keep going with uh, this? Yes, I've, I've heard that too. Although I, I don't think the same thing happens to guys. Wh what? Huh? But it would happen to men too, wouldn't it? I it would happen to anyone. Once it gets into your body, the same thing happens to everyone. Oh my god. Mia would be proud if only you could come over for you. Well, I, I mean, um, usually it, it, it doesn't go inside the man. Uh, I mean, generally. Yes, it does. <laughs> well, eventually it will. It's not like you really have a choice. Your body will force you to swallow some of it. Eventually. <gasps> oh, Jumpy, run! She's into she's into that femdom thing. Get out of there! Go! Flee! What are you trying to do to me? What are you trying to do to me? <laughs> Nothing. I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm just saying that that's what happens. It's a psychological reaction to what you're experiencing. Oh, is that so? Uh huh. I know most men probably have larger lungs, but even then, I don't think you could hold your breath for twenty or or even ten minutes. Okay, we're here. We go. Eventually, you'd have to breathe, and then the water would get into your lungs. Once that happens, your body won't be able to get oxygen anymore, and you'll start to feel that floaty feeling as you pass out. Uh. Huh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hmm? <laughs> it was at this moment Junpei. It was at this moment Junpei realized he was not getting laid. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You wouldn't last very long. See? <sighs> oh, lovely. Come to think of it, the lower floor, D deck is completely underwater. Yes, it is. An elevator heading to a submerged floor. That is pretty scary. Hey, wait a minute. Th 
This elevator came up from somewhere under us, right? Um, well, yes, I guess it did. It didn't open right away after you pressed the button. There was a motor noise, like it was moving, and then it opened. Yeah, exactly. You wondering if it pumped out all the water? Yes. So, take a look inside. <laughs> it's not wet at all, is it? The walls and even the floor are totally dry. Oh, you're right. They are. Hmm. Well, let's test it. Test it? Yeah, watch this. Now, I'll just put one foot inside the elevator and look over at the buttons. Oh, there's only two, E and C. All right, I'll push E. What are you doing? I I think I can hear it opening on E deck. Okay. Uh-huh. done. Now I'll just press the button again. Also in the words of a good actor, "Oh my." <laughs> yep, not a single drop of water to be seen. See? What does that mean? How can E deck be safe if the D deck is full of water? Uh, are there bulkheads or something? Well, here's what I think. The elevator shaft and E deck must be watertight and separated from wherever the ship's been punctured. Here, uh, let me show you. I see. Hmm. So is that why the ship hasn't sunk? Probably. As long as there's um, as long as there's air and buoyancy below the deck with filled with the water, the ship should still be able to stay up. Once E deck gets punctured, though, I think the ship's gonna start to the sink. The shape of the inside keeps it all from filling with water. <laughs> Damn it, Felmar! Ah, shaft! Uh, yeah, I think that's what's going on. Aren't you glad you picked the it as an option? <laughs> so I'm gonna go down and check it out. You stay here, all right? Um, but. Come on, just do it, all right? <laughs> A true artist, Junpei is not. Huh? <laughs> Hey, wait. Nope, too late. Oh, crap. It closed. I can't just let you go alone, you know. Ah, jeez. Now, if we die, we die together. That's how this works. It looks normal. Mm -hmm. I'll knock it off. It's just like I thought. This part hasn't <laughs> flooded. Come on, just look around. There's no water here. <sighs> You're right. It's not flooded at all. See? But there's a whole lot of water. Yeah, right on top of us. Yes. So, uh, let's not puncture the ceiling, shall we? Uh, Jimmy, don't you know the cardinal rule of a psychological horror flick? Don't ever go alone. What's gonna yeah, happen if the seriously. ceiling breaks? Well, we'd probably get really wet. Up there. Huh? Up there. At any rate, we should probably go back as soon as we can. Once we're done looking around down here. Yeah, yeah, from Barista. Will Jubei ever stop being Stupe? Ah, I don't know. This Jubei seems relatively oh, intelligent. Santa might already be back. Okay, good idea. Now then, iron bars. Well, we can't go over there. Right. Then maybe. Well, it looks like there's a long straight hallway down this way. Oh, that doesn't look creepy. Something's written on the door at the end. Wait, is that? Let's check. That doesn't look creepy. It's a six. I knew it. This is a numbered door. But we can't do anything with only the two of us. Yeah, we need at least three people. We better head back and let everyone know. Yes. Wait, what's this? Is this the map for E deck? I should take it with me. Oh, we got the map too. All right, cool. I'll take it. Huh. So you guys found door one. So now we've located two new doors. The Can we please turn that door upside down? <laughs> just. just Flip it. <laughs> it is interesting that E deck wasn't flooded. Well, we don't really know if all of E deck is safe. We only check the area around the elevator. Yeah, even so, it's still very interesting. He said the sixth door was there, right? Yes. Then that means Zero planned all this out, even the sinking. That well, wasn't that, that assumed? Serious remodeling of the ship's interior. That's pretty mind blowing when you think about it. Hmm. Yeah, it is true. The fact that you could let one floor flood. And let the floor below it actually still stay uh, stay dry. Yeah. I wonder how long it took. I can't even imagine how much it must have cost. It would have been a ton, that's for sure. Mm. Well, that does go along with what Ace was saying. 
The most reasonable explanation would be that this was done by some organization with access to a whole lot of cash. Yes, it does make sense. But why us? Still, why us nine people? Oh, eight people. Hmm. Seven people. <laughs> the numbers keep dropping. Hmm. Hmm. We don't know. Um, we have no clue. Yeah? Um, I don't think it's a very good idea to stay here. Yeah, you're right. Ace and his team might be back already. Well, June, Junpei, and I should be able to open door one. Huh? You guys leaving me behind? <laughs> well, hold on. Uh, if, 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 if you, Ace, Seven, and Clover get together, that's what? One plus four plus seven. Wait, no, no, no. Hold on. One plus three plus four plus seven. One plus three plus four, that's eight, plus seven would be 15 that makes six so yeah the four of you would have to go through the door in e-deck uh this is the uh this is the third class area where the real titanic sank the officers closed gates to keep them down there most of the deaths came from the Ooh. 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 just kidding all right let's go no that hold on that's uh that's that's probably what we got to do the four of them need to go through door six lotus june and myself can go through door uh Door one, hey, I suppose. Where the hell did you guys go? Seven? Hmm. Um. Uh, What's wrong? What's the matter? What happened? What happened? What the hell kind of question is that? Snake was... What? Snake is... Oh, no. Snake is... Dead. I figured as much, but still. He died. Just as the ninth man did. Lovely, but how? How? How did he die? Why? Why did he die? That's a better question. We know how. His wristwatch blew up, but why did his wristwatch blow up? Oh my god. That's not true, is it? <sighs> we should make sure. Yeah, right. We should. Wait. Not that way. <laughs> Class trial is going to start soon, right? <laughs> not the right game. What? Why not? I stuck a screwdriver in there to keep the door from closing all the way. It's not locked, so you can go in that way. Uh, where is, uh, where is he? The shower room. Left side of the hallway. I put a broom in there, too, to keep the door open. Oh, dear. And that means we can get in without going through the numbered door, right? Yeah, that's right. Then let's go. This wasn't open when we passed here before. Well, let's keep going. Oh dear. Oh, it smells horrible. Oh yeah, this is pretty awful. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, ooh. Oh. Mm. Where is he? Where's Snake? Oh, oh, oh. oh dear. June, you should stay here. What's with the what's with the lettering? L L R? But please just do me a favor, okay? All right. Yeah, you don't want to see this, June. Oh, I'm going in. Mm. Uh, oh dear. Oh no. Oh, I don't want to see this. Uh, Ooh. Just like he said. Just like the ninth man. The detonator in his bracelet set off the bomb in his gut. Oh god. The the bone is coming out of his left arm. It's definitely an open fracture. I don't think that matters. I think he's dead. Oh, the face. It's horrible. Yikes. Yeah, you can't even tell who it is. But the clothes are. No mistake about it. It's Snake. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Now, <laughs> yeah, poor Clover. Murdered. Murder, do you think? Chances are he was killed the same way the ninth man was. Oh, well, yes. Okay, well, that's not what you meant by murdered. It's pretty straightforward. Ekans? Ekans? Ekans! What happened, Snake? First, the killers got Snake to authenticate on the red to open door three. Hmm. Then they shoved him into it. Alone. And waited nine seconds for the door to shut. If that's what you think, that would mean there need to be two people. 
There would need to be two people who would do something like that. Because you need three people to open the door. So wait a minute. Once that door shut, what there. people? They didn't give up. Seven and three. It, it could have been. It could. It could have been seven and, and uh, Santa who did that. Plus him. He probably knew it wouldn't do him any good. But it could have been seven and Santa. It could have been. Uh, <laughs> it could have been June and myself. Any anything that could make the number uh, twelve. With two being part of that equation. It was a small chance, but it wasn't like he had anything to lose. Unfortunately, it didn't work. The detonator is only deactivated if everybody who authenticated when they went in uses the dead. Snake was the only one who went through the door. And then, 81 seconds after he was shoved in, that happened. I see. So that's what you meant by killers, huh? You need at least three people to open one of the numbered doors, including Snake. It wouldn't open for Snake and a single killer. It would have to be yeah. two people. That means we're looking at multiple perps here. Well, just in case, I want to make sure. Let's say you're right. When do you think Snake was killed? When we all split up to look for the parts for the Reds, I think. Right after that was when we noticed he was gone. And that means none of us have alibis. We were all off searching the rooms we'd been assigned, looking for those parts. That we were. Yeah. That means anybody could be a killer. Two possibilities are either Santa and Seven or Junpei in June and Ace. That is true. We could have been it could have been three people. But clearly it wasn't us. We didn't do shit. So that that can't be it. That only really leaves Santa and Seven. But why? Wait a minute. What are you talking about? I mean, unless there's something else here. Like, what if the ninth man isn't actually dead? What if that was a ruse? What if zero? But then that means somebody's working with zero. How can you say that so casually? I don't know. This is this is tricky. You're implying that one of us is a killer. Well, not just one of us. If I'm right, then at least two of us are murderers. At least two of us. Why don't you calm down a bit, Seven? What are you going to gain by being so suspicious? That's what Zero wants, you know? What Zero wants? Exactly. This game was set up by Zero, wasn't it? Any game has a winner and loser. Whoever makes it through door nine is a winner, and those who don't are the losers. Zero is trying to make us fight against one another for that victory. Then you're saying that Zero is trying to split us up by making us fight each other? Yes. That is why we can't let ourselves fall prey to suspicion. We have to trust one another and form a strong bond of friendship. Otherwise, we'll end up ensnared by Zero's manipulations. Then does that mean that the person who killed Snake... Yes. Almost certainly Zero himself. That seems kind of convenient, but I mean... I don't know. I, I can't, I can't think about this. Doubt, it should be Zero. By process of elimination, wasn't Santa with the Lotus earlier? That is true. I think. I think! He masterminded this game and kidnapped all of us. Doesn't it seem reasonable that he would have killed Snake as well? Hmm. Good question. If Zero killed Snake, then Zero is on the ship with us. Was Zero still on the ship with them? We're not sure. Now... I have some suspicions here. I have some serious suspicions. What if the Ninth Man isn't actually dead? I don't have any reason to believe that, though. But I just it's just like this niggling feeling. Or what if Zero is actually the Ninth Man? What if that was Zero? What if he didn't actually blow himself up? What if that was just something else that he had prepared? back there. We didn't see him actually blow up or die. Like, not really. I don't know. What if Zero took the Ninth Man's wristwatch? Because those watches should still be good. It just comes off. I mean, provided the watch didn't blow up. Which means if we're thinking of anybody to work as an accomplice here, 
I'm beginning to suspect Ace a little bit because 9 plus 1 plus 2 equals 12. Ace and 0, or the ninth man or whatever, could have shoved Snake in through that door. Ace was very, very quick to jump and stay behind there. Almost like he knew, he knew that it would be okay. Why would he know that it would be okay? Why did he have that sort of confidence, that trust, that we'd come back for him? I don't know, he even went so far as to anest anesthetic himself. I don't know. Yes, if the ninth bracelet, bracelet would be factored in, that would lead to more possibilities. We didn't go... Oh no, we did go through that door. We did go through the door with the with the corpse, though. Yes, 9 plus 1 plus 2 equals 12. I did say that. Last I checked, I think that math is good. Right? Did anyone pick up the ninth bracelet? I don't remember. I'm one of the ones who went through that door. I went through that door with who? I went through that door with seven and ace? Did I go through that door with ace? Did it actually blow up? Like the culprit, if the culprit blew up, the bracelet was recovered. I don't know. Uh, nobody ever actually said anything about that. Yes, the number 9 is extremely powerful in terms of digital root flexibility. Doesn't 7 usually keep the doors unlocked? I don't know if we did that the first time around. We went through the door with- Oh, we went through the door with 7 and Snake. What if Snake took the bracelet? He's the one who died. I don't know. This is- Oh my god, this is getting confusing. I'm going down a rabbit hole. I don't even know if it's remotely true, but shit balls, man. Shit balls. Was Zero still on the ship with them? We haven't seen him. We haven't had any reason to believe he's actually on this ship. I don't know. You think Zero still has to be on the ship, though, huh? To manage everything. Well, I mean... Maybe? I wouldn't be too surprised if this was all done remotely, though. Why would he be on the ship? If we failed to get through this game, he would be dead, too. I can't be sure. No. I'm gonna say I'm not sure. Uh, something's still strange. Yeah, there's something wrong here. Hmm? What was that? Well, I'm just wondering about one thing. And what's that? How can you be so sure that Zero's on this ship? Really, Junpei? I confess I'm a little disappointed. Usually, you're rather sharp. Or are you trying to throw me off? Isn't it obvious? How? Wait, it is? This ship. Huh? Zero said, this ship, several times when he addressed us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've reached the point of don't trust anyone. I don't trust anyone ever. If he weren't here, he wouldn't say this ship, would he? He'd be saying something like that ship or the ship. Oh, yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. I, 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 that's such a flimsy reasoning to use a freaking... A freaking what is that that wouldn't be a pronoun would it that would be a I don't know I'm not good at English either but is that's we all we have all known that where is he that's very vague very very vague you think he's in the the captain's quarters oh you think he's one of us that I'm willing to believe if zero is on this ship I am willing to believe that he's one of us I don't think he's some other enigmatic individual running around I think Clover's right. Prepository. <laughs> that sounds possible. Hmm. Well, that's possible. Huh? Like Clover said, Zero might be one of us. 
What are you saying, Jumpy? Didn't you hear what Ace said? Exactly. I said we shouldn't suspect one another for no reason. No reason. I've got a great reason. Yes, I do. And what's that? The bracelets. Why are the bombs in our bodies connected to the bracelets? You're all thinking Zero's hiding somewhere watching us, right? If he's doing that, then he could just detonate the bombs by remote control if someone did something they weren't supposed to. It would be a lot more precise and a lot easier. But if he can't see what everybody's doing at every given time, he needs some way, some way to make sure that we were following his little rules. If that's the case, then why is the bomb set off by the detonator in the bracelet? Huh. You got a point. I'm not done. Try applying the same ideas to the nonary game. All of the puzzles here run all by themselves. Or if Zero is not on this ship, then it could also imply that perhaps one of the participants is working with Zero. See, that's the other. That's the other thing. That's the other route. I'm willing to believe that or he's one of us. I'm even actually willing to believe that uh, that somebody is working with Zero and Zero is one of us. So there's two, two traitors in this group. I don't know. In other words, 